Stateroom 10718 on Odyssey of the Seas. Again, this is a balcony stateroom. We're going to take you for a look around. We're going to walk in. And you can ask for the beds to be separated or pushed together. Ours just happen to be separated at the moment. Beautiful couch, living area. Decently sized dresser, as well as a desk with all the standard plugs that you may require. Now the view on our balcony isn't the greatest right now because we're still in port, uh, but I will take you out for a little look. So you have two chairs and two footrests. So when you're out on the ocean, you can enjoy your balcony and watch the waves pass you by. We'll head back in and see the room from another angle. There's the beautiful dresser. Lovely couch here, which likely converts into a bed if you happen to have three or four people stateroom. We'll open up the closet here, take a little look in there. Lots of hangers, shelving, a safe if required, and some more drawers down the bottom. Beautiful 42 inch television. We also have um, a closet on the other side of the bed. It'll look very similar, but we'll take a little peek. Okay, so this one's a little bit different. Lots of hangers in here, lots of storage space. In fact, I, I don't think I've seen this much storage in a stateroom on a cruise ship in a long time. And this is the washroom area. Nice sink area, lots of counter space. Good amount of shelving for you to put anything that you might need. Of course the toilet and then you've got a shower. Again, like the closet space, the shower seems to be a little bit bigger uh, on Odyssey of the Seas. Nice full length mirror there. So you can get ready for the day or get ready for a nice evening out. We'll take one last look at the entire stateroom. Again, these beds can be pushed together or they can be separated. We've got a lovely couch and sitting area and tons of storage. You will have a great time and more than enough space when you're on Odyssey of the Seas and you're staying in this beautiful balcony stateroom.